Today is the 1st of uh, July 2024 and uh, yesterday afternoon uh, right through to the evening and at night wasn't too bad overnight um, I was experiencing very very intense burning this is the worst as I've known the burning before I had to stay at my dad's because of it um, and uh, I lost my temper so I had to apologise to uh, one of the neighbours because uh, I was sort of shouting and uh, you know, because I was in quite a lot of pain, it wasn't, it's not, you know, a, a small amount of pain, so, yeah, so, last night I was sort of calm, but that burning was really intense, like cat claw, scratch marks all over the body, <clears throat> and, um, a feeling like something's crushing inside your head, and also a lot of pain in the face, burning in the face, and the eyes felt like they were bloodshot sort of pain, you know, so, um, not burning as such, it's just like bloodshot, feeling like um, cuts in the eye sort of feeling so um, that was that I did initially go out uh, yesterday evening uh, and there was a few threats unfortunately um, there was a rock star lorry a, a couple of people playing guitars or carrying a guitar which is not really my sort of music but um, that's what was occurring when I went out um, and then obviously when I came back it was still occurring this burning so yeah I wasn't very happy about it but um, there is a documentary I'm going to do separate to this which is going to contain a lot more detail but uh, let's get on with today's setups it hasn't really been too bad at the moment you've had your casual flow of setups and I'm now at the bus station right now we've got fucking cell calls in my direction and the traffic stopping across the road but it's all about sex you know sex phone we've got to slam sex phones at me Christ you fucking buckle twisted sexual slaughter cunt Right, about 20 cell calls in my direction, sneezed up four times, three threats and two people photographed me, mistaken me as a man, threatened to shoot me dead, or to smash me in with a knife. Right, there's a specific cheese I wanted to buy, which I used to buy, which I could eat as uh, one person. Now it comes as uh, you and your partner cheese, um, a double amount where I have to sell it where, so it contains uh, the other half. Well, I don't have the other half, so um, I'm struggling to find a piece of cheese. Sexual sex phone upon sex phone upon sex phone. A smartphone is a sex phone. And I've had that in my life, so I don't need a sex phone. But the suggestion is there because it's being rammed in my face. Right, smashed glass looking very good. Right, smashed glass fucking lorry. Sex car. Sex. A uh, black sex car, sorry. And Somerset Ways Partnership. And another Somerset Waste Partnership. Right, I'll try eating and they slightly put a catalytic converter down the track. And there's another track down a fucking farm track. While trying to eat. Yes, it has a catalytic converter on it, Christ. Right, so we've got everything's alive. Um, hang on. Um, just get to the sheet. Red sexual car, uh, MJL van. A plain picture on a t shirt, a uh, grey t shirt. Hotline van, car one light out, bow whistling, Emilia, or Amelia, something like that. Um, then it sneezes in my direction. Spit talking lands in my face. Bradford's van, just in time van, grey sexual car, loud bike issue. Um, I can't remember what written down there. Um, more bike issues. 4U van, that's number 4, letter U. Kids carrying a cricket bat. Um, Zip Zimmer frame at me. More bike issues, more spit talking in my face. Um, morning child molester said, shoot him down, paedophile. Severe hen said, sexual phones in my direction, about more tw 20 more sexual phones in my direction. Sex phone is basically a smartphone, I call it a sex phone because that's the original name that they were going to give them back in 2003, 2004. And Zimmer frame at me. And then obviously you have what, had, what I've mentioned while branching on to the road, back onto the um, 
countryside path. And I'll keep saying, your forties, Justin. Your forties, Justin. Your forties, Justin. Yeah, well, God's not taking into account that I'm known as a sick cunt if uh, I fancy any one of the ages his fucking son was crucified. Sick bastard cunt. Right, and I'm being forced away from that fucking direction with a catalytic converter now. So I've got to go down back the track that I just came down due to catalytic converter coming down. Right, so the next thing is... Uh, Jesus Christ had sex with uh, Mary Magdalene when she was about 9, 11, whatever her age it is. And that's when he was in his 20s. I'm known as a sick cunt if I look at anyone 37. So he's cut his fucking wrist, Jesus has, with me. Because he's, he's well, basically he sliced my wrist sexually. So I've cut his throat with, it, with all this information like deep depression life story packs or whatever. But I've got to go down here because I'm being choked out by a catalyst. Well, it turns out that car was actually an electric car. But as soon as I pushed up on the camera, there was actually an engine car as well with a catalytic converter. So it made no difference anyway. People playing games said he fancies liar. As in, like, if someone lies, liar. Well, a, if there is such a name, but that's what it sounded like was being said. Right, the government really don't want me taking a picture of a fucking old-fashioned whatever it's called. They bought the sex out, they bought the sun out. Yeah, they've uh, not only fucking packed the traffic for that rogue cloud that's gone over, but we've got completely sexual weather. Sex in the sun is all sex. Sex is stopping to get a picture of the um, old-fashioned fucking whatever it's called. Oh well, sex in the sun, sex. Sexual sun cry, sex. Sex in the sun for the 1st of July, 2024. Hit it with the sun cry, sun, sexual sun. My willy is really high over bike um, and grey car passing me. And white, yeah, and that grey white, Christ. Well, the government are fucking about with sunshine every fucking day. So, doesn't look like I can get a picture. I've been forced off the bus because of, um... All right, yeah, sex, Christ. Black and black fucking blue, right? Sex, Christ. Sex, sex, bike. Yeah, I won't get the fucking evidence. I won't photograph it, you cruelty cunt. Go on, fucking, fucking slam a knife smash right in my fucking face, Christ. You fucking corrupt bastard. You cruelty fucking tear apart. Right, I've got, uh, piss about acting like a fucking fool in an area waiting for the sun to go down because they're fucking about with the fucking weather every fucking day this is of 2024 fucking sex and sunshine christ you fucking buckled fucking evil cunt where the creator god is such a menacing fucking cruelty fucking terror why not curse a person to laugh in my direction you cruelty fucking sex slaughtering fucking terror christ you bitterly cold fucking ice axing fire to the fucking floor Fucking bastard. I've just had my ears fucking banged out with a fucking drain cover being hit over to tell me why I fucking life's down the drain. But before that, um, sad chap HIV stabbed said because I was complaining about Christ fucking tearing me to fucking pieces and taking the fucking piss out me with sexual weather. Right, I'm being put in a fucking situation where I've got to move about because I can't stay in one place because the government are packing everyone's fucking movement around me or unless the creator god's just a vicious little fucking cruelty fucking terror part that just wants to take the fucking piss out of me 24-7. Well, I've got to wait until some cloud comes over without bright weather so that I can try and take a picture that I've been trying to take for the last three months but not been able to do it because of sex in the sun weather, Christ. Oh, I put a knife in and stab him in the fucking heart. Sad as fuck. But I got to put up with that because the government are putting rough people in my direction or the creator God's being fucking buckled. I'm going to have to knock it on the head and say no fucking photo unless you have it in sexual weather. Let the little bastard fucking stop me again from getting a picture because God wants me to take sexual pictures of sex on the beach instead. Jesus wants to really fucking take the fucking piss. Fucking hammering fucking knife staking bastard. Absolutely fucking evil. And obviously he's got to put these sorts of people in my direction to call shit, because that's what the creator god's like. Just a malice bastard. A fucking cruelty fucking terrible. They've timed that Liberal Democrats poster, followed by ripping you to pieces van, which is a paper shredder van. And then a van with my name saying just in time with a double bell alarm clock being smashed by a cartoon character, where it says just in time in the broken alarm clock. It's a definite no with this because the government is stopping me to take that picture. 
the government don't like it because it's a cloudy day and they need to need to modernize everything they need to, to make everything more sexual and violate people that are into older things the government are just snappy bastards that are doing this like i just said there's a ripping you to pieces next to a liberal democrat so liberal democrats are going in power presumably and then obviously a just in time van with a double bell alarm clock that's being smashed which is my name so the government are making it clear they're ripping me to fucking pieces and they've also made the suggestion that they slice my wrist with a creator god and taking me to pieces in my next fucking life so let's go ahead with the liberal democrats going in power pre-knowledge pre-known so obviously not by votes as uh, this has happened about 10 times or 12 times timing the ripping you to pieces next to a liberal democrat sign i've just had a phone call from have been reported to saint john's church because what happened yesterday is i was trying to film the radiator which is an 1800s or 1900s radiator and uh, going down the steps there was a cup a lady and a, ch a girl child that came out of the um, toilet so at the time I was filming it and because um, they got in the way and I went to sort of um, she um, I said all right she said yeah or no something like that I was sick I can't remember what she said then I stopped the recording and she started a row saying, you gotta fucking photograph, uh, film me or f f photograph me or whatever. Because I'll get my husband, I know he'll fucking smash you in and fucking take your fucking life away, you fucking sad cunt. So she started an argument like that. So I decided to keep the recording. And because we we're coming to the end of the church service, I decided to put what I was doing on that day. So I put it on YouTube. And I, put, I tried filming the um, radiator walking down the steps to go towards the... Um, um, the um, clock tower steps you can't go up the clock tower but to, just to film the steps just to get like a 30 minute uh, 30 second recording one minute recording of the beautiful layout of that specific part of the church well I've just been phoned up by the, uh, the one of the people at St John's Church and said oh, I'm in trouble for it and it's got to come off and that you're not allowed to take pictures of, of children or anyone in the church because that person's reporting me but how that person has found out that it's on uh, YouTube or whatever I do not know but it's very interesting so I just said I'm going to take it off right so if the creator god can stop being a fucking crap bastard and causing his fucking crows to go fucking ha 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 after a fucking trial rapist right being mistaken as Savan, I'll get my fucking say won't I evil little cunt right St John's Church I'm fucking starting a row I want to try and phone him back Obviously, I will take it off the internet, but that's the reason it's on the internet. Because of fucking threats I had straight after it. Otherwise, I would have just left it. So what happened was, as I was filming a radiator on the top bunk, where people look over and sit at the top. As you come down the stairs, you've got some nice old stairs to follow the old radiator. And I was going to walk past the old-fashioned church opening door from the back to go to the area where the, the spiral stairs are that go up to the clock tower. That door wasn't open when I actually... Um, got there but they have it open because they ring the bells in the morning so all you need to do is open it you're allowed at the bottom part but you're not allowed in there and you're not allowed to go up the stairs so I wanted to film that as I was coming down because I couldn't do it for a while because there was a lot of noise and a lot of racket I tried to do it when there was a quiet stage of the church when I could do it in a bit more quiet situations well I didn't realize these two the girl and the woman was in the toilet so I turned my camera to that direction and I said, all right, and then I stopped the recording because I realized that um, I captured them on the recording. So she said, sick, no or yes. I can't remember what she said, but it was like, this. no, that sort of accent, no. So I stopped the recording. Straight after I stopped the recording, she started around with me saying I was a sick cunt. I thought I was Savannah and threatened to smash and whack me in, saying I'm a real fucking, you're a child rapist and whatever. Uh, and I wasn't very happy about it. Uh, but I didn't actually get the camera on record again to do it. So at that stage, I just, just walked through the uh, main door and walked out the church. As I walked out the church, I knocked on the door of the church on the side to say, you're fucking paying for this because I wasn't happy with the threat. Anyway, with the recording, what I did is I had the, I had the radiator recorded. I had the steps recorded. And then obviously that's when I saw them. So I cut the recording just for that section to put it on YouTube, saying that they got got in my way 
I didn't make it sound bad. I just said that they got in my way when I was trying to film and do what I wanted to do, as I just mentioned. And they reported me because it's on my Facebook. So um, I'm not very happy about it. And if it becomes a police issue, I should be starting a massive row. And there'll be a lot of graffiti and a lot of crime in retaliation if I get trouble. And it's also hit it with the one day because it's the first of the month. So it's, uh, I'm not in a very fucking happy mood. And it's also sexuality when the only sex I've had in my life is the guts raped out of me as a child. Jesus has stopped me getting sex in, all, in my whole life. So there's going to be a whole load of fucking trouble. And I had intense burning last night, which doesn't add to my moods today. Because I nearly had to go into hospital. It was that bad. I tried, I, the battery went flat. So I tried telling Peter if it was him that he needs to stop because it is dangerous and it is affecting me dangerously. He probably doesn't realise how dangerous or how much power is going through if he is actually using anything. Now, I don't want to accuse him, but the, the, the intensity of that made me really ill. Dizzy, feel, feel like, and it's, it's definitely not caused by schizophrenia. Um, this, this was a, a physical feel. <sighs> but, um, yeah, I've got to leave it there because I'm being choked out by a catalyst on the road. Right, so I'm struggling to contact or get hold of the fucking St. John's Church. I'm still engaged after 20 fucking minutes. So I'm not in a very fucking happy mood at the moment because I, I need to explain the situation that I won't be going there again because I've had enough of the fucking being treated. Because when I first went to St. John's Church, when I first moved to Yeovil, people were mistaking me as Savan, calling me a sick bastard, called, making sick remarks saying he's going to get fucking smashed in later when he leaves the church and stuff like that. And that went on for months and months. I went to coffee mornings. You know, it didn't really calm down until roughly... Um, about April 2022, but it still wasn't great. It was still continuing. When we came into 23, I didn't really go to a church that often. But things sort of calmed down when I did. It was a much different environment. And much the same up to about two months ago. Two months ago, soon as, around about, no, bit, but yeah, about at the same time as when Matty got evicted for putting marks in the um, staff door with a weapon. It's that sort of time period. Um, I'm just using that as like a time period, a time frame of when the trouble started to escalate. So I went to a church and I ended up leaving after the first 10 minutes about five weeks in a row because they were treating me as a sick bastard and I didn't I wasn't happy about it so I um, left um, and then obviously we had the door incident where that lady um, came out the toilet I mean what's she fucking doing in there with a child anyway you know but you know that's what happened and uh, so you know I can't help filming it as evidence really I don't know, they could be doing anything in there, you know. But, you know, I'm a bit pissed off about being, being re reported for, you know, just because I don't like it. That's why they report it, because I don't like it because I fucking accidentally fucking filmed them. That's why. So they want to fucking start a row, but they're doing it on sexuality. When I left the church last night, even, I was being told I was a sick cunt then as well. So I, um, I couldn't shout or anything like that or retaliate because there's people outside photographing me thinking I was fucking Savannah. Anyway, that's a black sex car time. And that's a sick car time with a gun looking thing on the top. Right, it's 30 minutes since I spoke to the person on, on, in the church. Does the phone still engage? Right, someone's walked past me saying, Ah, the three year old junglist that you were watching on YouTube's a single mother. Right, so I was going to take some pictures, um, but obviously that's not to be. That it's turned out to be sunny back at the time I was taking a picture earlier but you did have some hazy sunshine and some cloud come over for a short period of time by the time period that I was there where I was pissing about with traffic the sun came back out again so I didn't manage to get the picture I, had to, I did check the pictures because I was taking random pictures at the time this was occurring not one has fucking come out and obviously a oh, fuck's sake catalyst and fucking sun right so there's a police car and a core van, a laughing armchair van, the ripping you to pieces van. The guys in that van are laughing because they see me so often. Um, took the police car occurred as I was sort of having a spit because I was being choked out by a catalytic converter. But they haven't bothered moaning about it. <laughs> 